hey y'all and welcome to my channel it's me crispina so i'm just doing this on this background you'll see like a similar video has like a similar intro that's because i did it obviously in the same day but i just forgot to do an intro if you'd like to see how i did this eye look then keep watching all right, so I'm switching over to the voiceover just because I feel like it's better for this type of video. So for primer, I didn't show the clips, but I used the NYX Hydro Touch Oil Primer and some of my Province Beauty Rewind Facial Oil, and everything will be down below. I know I'm gonna be talking fast, that's why um, I have captions on the screen as well. But to fill in my brows, I used the BH Cosmetics Studio Eyebrow Pencil in Ebony, just that outline, and then I like blend the product out. And then going in, I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Duo Brow Powder in dark brown to get in the sparse places. My eyebrows, I try not to go too heavy these days, but also try to make sure it looks like hair. So this day, it had been quite a while since I did my makeup, so I kind of did it weird at first, but I ended up mixing my Morphe Concealer in C235 and using the Black Radiance True Complexion HD Corrector in 9K01. I don't know, there's not a name. And I mix them together. Um, the Morphe concealer dries down a bit, but then the Black Radiance concealer really gives like that moisture, I guess. And then I just dragged it down my eyebrows and then onto my eyelids for the base for my eyeshadow. And then to finish the process of me carving out my eyebrows, I just take my BH Cosmetics number no. five brush. It's this fluffy brush and it's really good for blending out product. And then once all that's blended and the product is drying down and setting, I set my eyebrows with the Clear Essence Eyebrow Gel Mascara to give my eyebrows a little bit of oomph. All right, it is now time for eyeshadow. Today I'm gonna to be using this gorgeous Juvia's Place Eye Freak palette and going in with this um, flat BH Cosmetics brush in the shade Dakar. I'm using this to carve out the middle of my eyelids and I started doing this when I do my eyeshadow so that way Whenever I'm blinking, it doesn't create those ugly creases. And then I'm taking this number eight Taping Back to Brazil brush. It's a little bit fluffier and starting to blend that color out. And then going back in with the flat brush that I pre So going in with my Morph Jaclyn Hill palette, I'm using the shades Rush and Alert and creating like this deep orange tone. And I'm putting this directly on top of that bright orange tone that I use to kind of show where I want my dimension to be when I start deepening up my eye. And then I wiped off that number eight brush, which I'm gonna be using quite a lot in this tutorial. Then going back in with another Juvia's Place palette, this is the Festival palette, the shade Man Woo. I use that, it's like this really pretty coral shade just to really smoke out um, like where I want my transition to be. And then I just kind of went back in with uh, the flat brush and then this other BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil brush to really build up the color. This is an Aries inspired look. This is the first horoscope look that I've personally recorded and I needed to get like a red shade but I didn't technically really have one so I mix Olafa and Izafa from that same palette and with that same number eight brush and then use like a skinnier BH Cosmetics brush to blend it out. So funny story, when I got my Zulu palette, my yellow shade is not that pigmented and I went to another makeup artist and hers was super pigmented so I must have got a bad batch. But going back in the Afrique palette, I use Aya, which has like a greenish undertone, but it's very pigmented. And then I went back over it and back in that Zulu palette with the yellow shade to build it up. Then it already started making orange, so I was like, ooh, I should just put orange in the middle to give me like that gradient. And then it was like, oh, this is kind of like a sunset type of vibe. And then once again, going back in with my eight brush, using that same orange to really like buff out that transition and make it really like... I don't know like I feel like this made it look more like a finished look to me and your girl almost never does all matte looks so I had to add a touch of some type of glitter so I use this uh, white glitter uh, liner that I got from the beauty supply store and then I use this red glitter that I got from the beauty supply store and made myself a little glitter cut crease just something slight and I really wanted to reinforce the red as well To finish off these eyeballs, I'm highlighting with my It's My Ray Ray brush and using this BH Cosmetics highlighter palette, which I loved, and I loved it so much that I used the same thing on my eyebrows. And I used the shade Electra, which has a golden undertone. All right, we're moving on to the face. So I just outlined the top of my eyebrows with that Black Radiance concealer and buffed it out with my BH Cosmetics brush. And then I used my Maybelline Master Conceal 
I use the green to counteract the redness underneath my nose because it's been kind of bad lately. I don't know if it's because of my allergies or what. And then I mix the two foundations from Makeup Revolution and F8. It's a foundation and concealer, but it's a bit too pink. And then I bought this black opal because I thought it was black owned, not the whole other store. But anyways, I bought this foundation and I thought it was me in the store, but I think I'm a lot darker than I am sometimes. So it's too dark. So this combination is great. And then I'm using this Luxie sponge to help blend out after to make sure there's no streak lines or anything on my face. And then I've been really enjoying my I Am Magic Juvia's Place Concealer in 17. It has that peachy undertone. And then I use my Clinique Chubby Stick for cream contour. And I don't usually cream contour, but I was lazy and I really couldn't find my actual contour. And I didn't want to use my broken palette that I had. So I just went in with something a bit more natural. So I used my sponge to blend out the contour first. And then lately, I've been kind of trying to blend out my concealers with my fingers to warm up the product a little bit more. But as you can see right here, I messed up because I was looking in the big mirror, not the small mirror. So it just looks like a tiny bit weird in my inner corner right there. You'll see on that eye. I missed the tiniest of spots and it bothered me the whole day. But yeah, so I learned my lesson. I will always go back and double check. So after I blend my concealer and I instantly set, I have been loving, loving, loving this Yate London Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. It literally smells like sun tanning lotion. It reminds me of summer. But I do this thing where I dip into the jar, I guess, and then I press it on my hand so it's not all powder being on my face. And then that Luxie sponge, I love it. It's literally flat. It gave me that contour that I needed. And then also that picture on the screen, I'm going off script real quick. Um, they no longer sell those um, BH Cosmetics sculpt and blend brushes, so I was just showing you guys that I don't be making it up. It is a BH Cosmetic brush, but yeah, now you're just seeing me finish off my face using my Black Radiance Dewy Setting Spray, making sure everything settles in, and then going in with that same BH Cosmetics highlighter. I think I use Strobe and Electra. I literally love this highlighter palette. It is the bomb. I use it on my nose a little bit, on my brow bone, and then... To finish off the eyes, finally, finally, um, I haven't done winged eyeliner in a while and my formula dries out really quickly, so I just did like a little childish wing, but I just felt like it complemented the look. Then I used my NYX Worth the Hype mascara, added a little bit of mascara, added my falsies, and then lastly, I was like, you know what, this needs some blush. So I fixed my lashes and added some Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush. Thanks for watching, y'all.